Look, I, I have the larger income. Maybe I could swing a larger share. Oh, no, no, no. Absolutely not. Out of the question, Cass. I will not be beholden to you. <laughs> beholden? All right. All right. So I've read one too many romance novels. But it's true. I mean, a lady should never be in a gentleman's debt. Of course, in those days, it meant you couldn't accept any personal gifts, like a shawl or gloves. Or... Well, times have sure changed. Yes, but the concept is the same. So it's 50-50 or nothing. All right. Listen, but are, are you still worried about the gentleman part? I mean, is this going to be okay with you? What, do you mean living together platonically? Yeah. Chaz, absolutely. I mean, we've already discussed the drawbacks. Drawbacks? Well, you know, the basic attraction that exists between any man and any woman. But we have dealt with it. We both realize that nothing is ever going to happen between us, so, you know, it makes it safe. <sighs> right. Right. So, let's look at the afternoon paper. Well, hopefully there'll be something that we haven't already uh, seen. All right, here we are. Brooklyn? Uh, Manhattan. Manhattan. Okay. All right, here we go. Studios. One bedroom. Two bedrooms. Mm. That's too far downtown. Would you look at the price of this one? What? Um, uh, your, your hair, uh... Look, we're gonna find this place if I have to build it myself, Ryan. Our children who... No, I already said our children. Our offspring who... Who is it? It's me. Can I come in? Sure. Hi, Don. What's up? Hi. Uh, I'm not disturbing you, am I? No. I'm already disturbed. Yeah. Going to club, everybody in this family is a little weird, like... Well, it's not my fault. The way they shut me out, I suppose it's not even any of my business. Nah, don't say that. I am on your side, and they know that. Look, don't bother, all right? It's pointless. You're mine. I'm not going to turn my back on you. Nah. Hmm? Let's talk, all right? What? This family unit is already formed. You cannot expect them to expand and, and let me in just because I blew into town. Yeah, but what if I wanted to expand? I mean, don't I have any control or any say about what happens in my family anymore? Obviously not. They got minds and wills of their own, duh. And nothing that you're going to say or do is going to change the fact that Frank and Pat have it in for me. I've accepted that. You should, too. It'll spare you a lot of pain. I don't want to be spared anything. Well, I do. I'm moving out. Why? Time for me to cut my losses. I don't want to play any more games. Family isn't worth fighting for? It's not worth me beating my head against the wall. Well, I want you here. You're part of my family. Duh! Look, I know how rough they've made it. This isn't a perfect family. It never was, and it never will be. But if, if you can just tough it out, you'll see that get gone through the rough times together it makes the, the good times that much more special. Look, I, I want you to give it one more shot for me. You look. You look at them. That's the way they've been all day. It's gonna make it hard to, uh, to cut carrots in, doesn't it, Ma? I tell you, this situation just goes on and on, and there's no end to it. It's the first time in my life that I've faced something squarely and not been able to resolve it. Because you can't resolve away a person, Ma. That's why. I should at least be able to get some kind of understanding with your father. <clears throat> Let me tell you the truth about that. No, give you a lie, or? I don't want either. Mm. I know very well what the truth is. There's one person more stubborn in the world than your father. You're looking at her. Oh, oh I'm tired of it all. In my neck. Yeah. Oh, Mama, does it? Do you think that comes from your unbending position, or um, uh, from holding your head so high? Oh, don't tease. Don't tease. <laughs> What do you think? You think, uh, 
The coat is the pain in your neck or dies the pain in your neck? Uh, huh? I would say it's a toss-up. Ah! Hey, you know what I think you should... You ought to do? You ought to, you ought to tie a scarf around your neck very tight and see which one you smother. Oh. That's Irish voodoo, Ma, in case Come you on. didn't know. Hmm? Man, this hmm? is serious. I know it's serious, Ma. I just... I hate to see you wandering around here with your hands shaking. Uh. You probably put too much salt in the stew. Yeah. Anything else I can do? Mm. That's good what you're doing now. I just, this is between your father and me. I'm just going to figure out some, some way to resolve it quickly. Fine, and I cannot find an apartment that she can afford. And I, I'm afraid we're going to end up living in a raffle. Well, then you can protect her from the rats. Now she is, uh, she's actually going to do it. She's actually going to take an apartment with me. Isn't that what you wanted? It's insulting. She thinks I'm safe. She thinks that uh, I'm not a threat to her. Do you want to be? No. I don't want to be a puppy dog on a leash, either. You know, maybe this buddy-buddy approach is going to backfire. Approaches of all kinds usually do, especially when they don't ring true. Yeah, but the true me is boring. Oh, yeah, uh-huh, come on. Emily, I'm, I'm, I'm dependable, I'm, I'm cheerful, I'm your typical Mr. Nice. <laughs> I'm a stereotype. I mean, what could she possibly find interesting about me? Well, let's just put it this way. There aren't that many nice guys around anymore. It's not good enough. I want to be fascinating. I want to be... I want to be bad. Forget it. <laughs> 